Hey guys, same day, but I'm probably gonna post it on a different day. But this is a topic that I have to address. I have to address it. I have to address it right now because I've been getting so many comments about this particular topic and I have to talk about it. Um, I wanted to do like a soul beauty chat on it and I probably still will to go like really in depth, but I'm gonna include it in this faith series because it is a real, real topic. So let's get into it so as of lately i have been getting a lot of comments centered around just certain things that as christians that we shouldn't be doing for example i posted a video about doing yoga in times square and that got some negative comments i posted i don't say negative but i got that got some comments around like um just very judgy comments of like Oh, you're a Christian, you shouldn't do that. Oh, you're a Christian, that's not what you do. Um, meditating, that's not what Christians do. Very just harsh, judgmental, and very just um, um, not constructive at all. And um, I want to address that quickly here. And also around tattoos, that has also been a topic of discussion lately around like, oh, how do you have tattoos? That's not something that a Christian is supposed to do. Um, so I want to talk kind of like overarching around this and then I definitely want to make individual videos about um tattoos yoga meditation like in more depth but this is just a general overview right a lot of you guys may be new you may just stumbled across my channel and I want to give you a bit of a disclaimer about myself um my channel when I started was all about hair beauty style there was no faith in there there was no spirituality in there there was barely any empowerment or in inspiration or coaching involved at all okay i was in high school i think or like just out of high school i was very young and i didn't really have much of a spiritual connection with god and um my channel was very surface level as time went on i started to talk about things that I was really going through and you guys started to open up as well in the comment section and you wanted me to talk more and more and more about this if you don't know my full story I'll link a video up there so you can watch it but long story short my channel was not created to um, kind of be like this um, inspirational faith almost like a pastor or a preacher like that was not the intention of my channel okay so I just want to put that out there um, the second thing that I want to mention is that I am just a regular person like you I am not on some type of level I'm not elevated I don't have um, any type of I didn't go to seminary school none of that I'm just a regular person that decided to pick up a camera and start talking about something very vulnerable like faith like God like Christianity like spirituality like if you type right now into YouTube um, Christian youtubers or black Christian youtubers I can guarantee you you're not gonna get a lot you if you were to type in natural hair you would get thousands upon thousands of different girls talking about this but when it comes to Christianity and faith and spirituality there is like a handful that I know of that talk about this topic in such an open and transparent way now yes don't get me wrong there's probably plenty of people that are you know well educated and they went to seminary school maybe they're a pastor a bible they've been in church all their life like just this ideal christian woman but that's not me that's not me and that's not what i'm pretending to be my channel is not for that person either my channel is not for the person that is the buttoned up christian that has just always done everything right never listened to secular music never had tattoos or did have tattoos but decided that you know that wasn't for you i'm not i am not that person i'm not perfect and i'm not pretending to be perfect and i'm not going to get on this camera and pretend like i'm per perfect what i am doing is opening up the conversation for honest transparent and hard conversations things that you may have thought about 
but no one's ever talked about. Things that maybe when you first started out on your Christian walk, you were like, well, is this okay? Is this right? Is this wrong? Um, I want to do this, even though the Bible says that I shouldn't do this. Like I'm having those type of conversations. That's what Soul Beauty Chat is all about. It's all about having those honest, raw conversations that make you uncomfortable. And I appreciate that you guys are challenging me in the comment section with some of your questions because it's forcing me to do more research and to learn more and expand my knowledge so i appreciate that but what i will say is that and the thing that is a bit off-putting about all this is just that as a whole christians before i became a christian the main reason why i didn't want to consider myself one was because as a whole Christians are known for being some of the most judgmental people ever and I'm experiencing that on this channel where instead of you know opening my eyes right if you disagree with something that I'm doing or something that I'm saying which is totally fine because like I said I'm not perfect I don't have all the answers I'm not always right I'm, I'm probably wrong 90% of the time but as Christians we need to learn how to correct each other in love versus correcting each other from a place of wanting to be right because to an outsider looking in if you don't know anything about christianity and you find a video that is supposed to be about christianity and you see in the comments where people are just going back and forth trying to make a point about who's right and who's wrong that sets the tone that sets the tone for the person that doesn't know anything about it that that you know, there's so many rules. There's so many things I have to do to be perfect. I can't have tattoos. I can't have piercings. I can't listen to secular music. So people are going to feel like I might as well not even try to do this because I'm not perfect yet. And that is the biggest misconception. I don't want anyone to come to one of my videos and read some of the comments and feel like, well, wow, like she she knows a lot more than me. And, you know, people are still judging her. I'm not even going to try this because if I do it, I'm so screwed up. People are definitely going to judge me. And I just feel like like we're setting the wrong tone. There's a way to give feedback and there's a way to um, correct someone from a constructive standpoint. There's one person, I can't remember her name, but um, about my video, I think it was about like yoga or something. Instead of just saying, that's wrong, you're not supposed to do that. She actually said, you know, like, I appreciate what you're doing and, and I love the videos that you're making, but I would encourage you to check out this video, sis. And I checked it out for myself and it opened my eyes to a lot of things that I hadn't even known. But when people just kind of come from a place of not being constructive, that is like, yeah, on a personal level for me, it's annoying, but I feel like it affects the whole body. It affects way more than just me. It affects everyone that comes and see and reads the comments and feels like they're not good enough to even be a part of this. So they're just going to completely just walk away from it. So I want to encourage everyone that's watching to judge the character of your heart first and foremost. Before you start typing about how someone is wrong, about how this is not right, how this is not biblical, judge the character of your heart. Are you living a perfect life? Were you perfect when you first started out your walk? I'm sure the answer is no, right? So if you want to help someone to, to, to see that they're doing something incorrectly, Help them by speaking from personal experience. Help them by saying, you know, I struggled with that too. This is what I did or this is a resource that you should check check out. Um, versus just being very judgmental, very um, I'm right and you're wrong. I feel like that does nothing for the body as a whole. That does nothing for other um, Christians or people that are considering Christianity that are watching. So I want to encourage you to... Um, take note of your heart check yourself before you try to check someone else um, and yeah that's it that's really all that I want to share and like I said I'll make more videos talking in depth about tattoos and meditation and yoga and all of that stuff but um, I just want to say thank you guys thank you so much for challenging me thank you so much for um, watching for subscribing I'm assuming you're a subscriber if you're here um, if you're not, make sure you hit that button. And yeah, that's it.
so let me know what you guys are dealing with going through thinking and i'll see you in the next video bye if you enjoyed this video, make sure you head over to my website, FatimaFarmer.com, and sign up for the free 7-day prayer journaling challenge. This challenge includes audio guides and prayers that you can download that will help you build your faith in a stronger relationship with God. I really hope that it's a blessing to you on your journey.